basketball's most famous player is someone you probably haven't heard of. Creighton freshman Kobe Paris grew up in the Philippines where his family's popularity is nearly unrivaled. But rather than follow in the footsteps of fame, Kobe opted to move to the States during high school to pursue his dream of playing in the NBA. Kobe has about 450,000 followers on Instagram. He gets thousands of likes within like five minutes. He's like the car actions without drama. I didn't know who he was. I remember asking my assistant, who's this kid? This kid's like a celebrity. He's like really good. He even like maybe dunked on LeBron. My family is um, it's kind of a big thing in the Philippines. The next thing past Manny Pacquiao, it's Kobe and his family, and I've heard a lot of stories about Kobe's dad being like the Michael Jordan of the Philippines. He's a living legend. He's so famous in basketball, and he's also famous in acting. And my brother as well, he started acting. It was impossible to go to malls or to shop because there's so much people bombarding us. I didn't even know how famous my family was. So when I was eight or nine, I was like, what's going on? This is how life really is. Sometimes I'll joke because people will stop him at the mall and be like, oh my God, you're Kobe Parks, can I take a picture? And I'll be like, man, this is on a Kardashian status. You know I'm the man, don't you? Yeah. Can I count it out? Yeah. One, two, three, four. My fame just followed me wherever I went. When I first landed in LAX, there was like a Filipino family that had a picture right away when I got out of the airport. Not what I expected. I thought I was going to be a normal kid for once. We were in uh, New York and... Neither one of us had been there before. There was a store clerk. She just kept following us everywhere we went around the store. She came up to us like, are you Kobe Bryant? And she immediately like started crying from seeing him. Then I knew it was serious. After one of the games we had this year in Century Lake, we were all in the locker room excited. And then in shows this Filipino woman. Some of the coaches had to escort her out. An adult woman, yes. <laughs> See, I don't really know because he never talks about it. I've heard the story. I've never seen the video. All I know is whatever happened that day, the country exploded. When the court's keep you from court, you probably let it go. I, I didn't really dunk on him. Like, every basketball player would know that I didn't dunk on him. Kobe's such a humble dude. When people ask that he dunk on LeBron, he will always say no. Uh, playing with LeBron was amazing, and he's my idol. So just playing against him made me really happy. Honestly, Kobe is the most impressive dunk that I've seen in person. I just try to stay away from him when he's in there. We'll be in warm-up lines, and his whole forearm will be red. And I'll be like, is that from the rim? Basketball in the Philippines is huge. It is a religion. When I was in the Philippines, everything was being handed to me in a way, which really wasn't something I wanted to do. Coming to America helped him get on a stage that was bigger. And a lot of kids do not like that. A lot of kids want the easy route. The question for me is why not be in the state? Why not be more successful and be more passionate about what you're doing? He didn't leave just his family behind. He left an entire country behind just to pursue his dreams. He's a guy that people believe has a chance to make it. That's what he's carrying, the hopes and dreams of a nation. Well, your dream is just to make my country proud, so I just need to represent it in a good way. Well, Nick is the radio analyst for Creighton, so you've gotten to know yeah. Kobe a lot better than, than we know. What kind of kid is he? He's a great kid. I mean, first time I was ever even around him, he went right up to me, shook my hand, and you, you see a lot of young kids get in the limelight, have a lot of success early. Sometimes that can create somewhat of an attitude problem. And I think all you have to do is watch him during the games. He hasn't had an opportunity to play a ton, but he is the most enthusiastic guy at the end of the bench. And I think that speaks volumes to the kind of humility that he has, even with all the celebrity status that he has with all the followers on Instagram and how he is in the Philippines. He's not big here, but yeah. he's big back home. You've dealt with big time guys here in the US. How does that make it different to coach him? Well, you know, I had the opportunity to meet him as well, and I think because he's grounded, um, that's going to bode well for his future. And I also think Omaha uh, is a perfect fit for him. Uh, he initially was going to sign at UCLA. That's Jim Herrick on the right and myself at the uh, Collision uh, All-Star game, and it happens in Southern California, and he was one of the All-Stars uh, that day that was recognized and, and played well. I had a good you know, feel for the game, a tremendous athlete. I think he'll develop 
uh, under Greg McDermott at Creighton. Uh, and again, the smaller town, as Nick will attest to, probably a better fit for him. Can't get in trouble Can't the way you it. might in Los Angeles or he may have <laughs> if he was at UCLA. Note to self, we might have to ship you to Omaha, my friends. <laughs> We've talked about that. <laughs> Inside the Big East.